Welcome to episode four. That's right, we're gonna do potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Okay, today we're making potatoes two ways. The first is a mashed potato that's gonna be silky, smooth, creamy, and well seasoned. The second is gonna be a crispy version that's gonna be baked in the oven with thyme, vegan Parmesan, and caramelized onions that we made from episode one that's part of our staples. So let's get to it. Let's get started on our mashed potatoes. Our first step is really the most important. We need to cut the potatoes in equal sizes, whether that's sixth or quarters or halves, whatever works best for the potato size that you currently have. It's one of the most important steps. Adding a generous pence of salt to our cold water is key in having our potatoes taste great. Now we're hitting it with two garlic cloves and one tablespoon of yellow miso. It's time to get the perfectly cooked potatoes out of the water. Next step, super important, make sure we start ricing our potatoes while the potatoes are hot. The hot potato, well, hot potato, how funny is that, will help create an airy, light, creamy potato. If the potato cools, it can become gummy and sticky. It's all about keeping everything hot. We have hot potatoes, so of course we need hot plant milk and melted butter. Go ahead and warm the two up. Slowly start adding the hot liquid into the potato, stirring to incorporate and start to emulsify the fat and the milk into the potatoes. If you need a little more, add a little more. The point here is to get a creamy, smooth, delicious potato. Time to adjust the salt ratio, hit it with a little more olive oil, incorporate those two, and let's start plating these beautiful, delicious, silky bad boys up. Let's get into our stacked potatoes. You know, honestly, these are like little bite-sized scalloped potatoes and I can't wait to make them. We're gonna start off with a quarter cup of chopped chives, half a cup of chopped parsley, and two to three tablespoons of chopped thyme. Mince four to five garlic cloves, add that to the herbs, and then hit it with four to five tablespoons of olive oil. We're looking for that pesto consistency here. Then we're gonna start slicing our potatoes about an eighth of an inch thick straight into the herbs. Make sure you're careful with your fingers because we all know what the mandolin does. It likes to bite the tip of that finger right off. Now it's time for the fun part. Go ahead and spray the muffin tins on the inside. One thing that is not shown on this video, which I added later, is cutting out a circle of parchment paper that is a touch bigger than the bottom of the cup. Go ahead and line the parchment paper on the bottom. Add our first layer of potato, and then we're gonna add caramelized onions, vegan cheese, potato, caramelized onions, vegan cheese, and we're gonna repeat the process until we're about a quarter of an inch stacked over the top of the muffin tin. Place them in the oven at 425 for roughly about 20 minutes. We're looking for them to be deep golden brown delicious and tender when you insert a knife into the middle. Am I not the luckiest person in the world right now? I have a bowl of silky, smooth, delicious potatoes, and I have stacks on stacks of potatoes with vegan Parmesan and caramelized onions. We're gonna go here first because honestly, mashed potatoes are one of my favorite things in the entire world. So here we go. What's up? <laughs> oh my God. So creamy, so smooth. We really push the salt on this, which I'm comfortable with, because you know, it brings out the flavor of the potato. We have just a little bit of vegan butter, and then we balanced out the rest of the fat with our olive oil. Gives it a floral note. Amazing. One more little bite before we jump into a stack. Look at these little guys. Crispy, a little bit chewy. We have the caramelized onion for sweetness and richness. We have the beautiful herbs of thyme, chive, and parsley and our chopped garlic. Look at that. Oh my God. Mm, chewy, crispy. Okay. This is my favorite, but just barely, because the stack is amazing. I think when you combine this with our carrots, our green beans, the 
beautiful, delicious, luxurious gravy. We're really off to a great start, you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. Leave some comments. See you soon.